inside myself, there was something identical to my own thought, which my glance or my hand could touch. Soon the night seemed gloomier and more terrible than any night, as if it had in fact issued from a wound of thought which had ceased to think. A thought taken ironically as object by something other than thought. It was night itself. The night was more somber and more painful than I had expected. The darkness immersed everything. There was no hope of passing through its shadows. But one penetrated its reality. The relationship of overwhelming intimacy. My first observation was that I could still use my body, and particularly my eyes. It was not that I saw anything, but what I looked at eventually placed me in contact with a nocturnal mass, which I vaguely perceived to be myself, in which I was bathed. It was night itself. Images which constituted its darkness inundated me. I saw nothing. And far from being distressed, I made this absence of vision the culmination of my sight. Useless for seeing, my eye took on extraordinary proportions, developed beyond 